A statistical model is a mathematical model that embodies a set of statistical assumptions concerning the generation of sample data and similar data from a larger population. A statistical model represents, often in considerably idealized form, the data generating process. A statistical model is usually specified as a mathematical relationship between one or more random variables and other non random variables. As such, a statistical model is a formal representation of a theory. Herman Adder quoting Kenneth Bolin, all statistical hypothesis tests and all statistical estimators are derived via statistical models. More generally, statistical models are part of the foundation of statistical inference. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Introduction. Informally, a statistical model can be thought of as a statistical assumption or set of statistical assumptions with a certain property that the assumption allows us to calculate the probability of any event. As an example, consider a pair of ordinary six-sided dice. We will study two different statistical assumptions about the dice. The first statistical assumption is this, for each of the dice, the probability of each face 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 coming up is 1 sixth. From that assumption, we can calculate the probability of both dice coming up 5, 1 sixth times 1 sixth equals 1 sixth. More generally, we can calculate the probability of any event, e.g. 1 and 2 or 3 and 3 or 5 and 6. The alternative statistical assumption is this, for each of the dice, the probability of the face 5 coming up is 1 eighth because the dice are weighted. From that assumption, we can calculate the probability of both dice coming up 5, 1 8 times 1 8 equals 1 64. We cannot, however, calculate the probability of any other non-trivial event. The first statistical assumption constitutes a statistical model, because with the assumption alone, we can calculate the probability of any event. The alternative statistical assumption does not constitute a statistical model, because with the assumption alone, we cannot calculate the probability of every event. In the example above, with the first assumption, calculating the probability of an event is easy. With some other examples, though, the calculation can be difficult, or even impractical e.g. it might require millions of years of computation. For an assumption to constitute a statistical model, such difficulty is acceptable, doing the calculation does not need to be practicable, just theoretically possible. Topic formal definition In mathematical terms, a statistical model is usually thought of as a pair S, P, display style S, mathcal P, where S, display style S, is the set of possible observations, i.e. the sample space, and P, display style mathcal P, is a set of probability distributions on S, display style S. The intuition behind this definition is as follows. It is assumed that there is a true probability distribution induced by the process that generates the observed data. We choose p display style mathcal p to represent a set of distributions which contains a distribution that adequately approximates the true distribution. Note that we do not require that p display style mathcal p contains the true distribution and in practice that is rarely the case. Indeed, as Burnham and Anderson state, a model is a simplification or approximation of reality and hence will not reflect all of reality, whence the saying, all models are wrong. The set P display style mathcal P is almost always parameterized, P equals P theta, theta element of theta display style mathcal P equals P underscore theta theta in theta. The set theta display style theta defines the parameters of the model. A parameterization is generally required to have distinct parameter values give rise to distinct distributions, i. e. p theta 1 equals p theta 2 theta 1 equals theta 2 Display style p underscore theta underscore one equals p underscore theta underscore two right arrow theta underscore one equals theta underscore two must hold. In other words, it must be injective. A parameterization that meets the requirement is said to be identifiable. Topic. 
Topic: An example. Suppose that we have a population of school children, with the ages of the children distributed uniformly, in the population. The height of a child will be stochastically related to the age, e.g. when we know that a child is of age 7, this influences the chance of the child being 1.5 meters tall. We could formalize that relationship in a linear regression model, like this. Hi t equals b0 plus b1 ag plus epsilon i, where b0 is the intercept, b1 is a parameter that age is multiplied by to obtain a prediction of height, epsilon i is the error term, and i identifies the child. This implies that height is predicted by age, with some error. An admissible model must be consistent with all the data points. Thus, a straight line high t equals b0 plus b1 ag cannot be the equation for a model of the data unless it exactly fits all the data points, i.e. all the data points lie perfectly on the line. The error term, epsilon i, must be included in the equation, so that the model is consistent with all the data points. To do statistical inference, we would first need to assume some probability distributions for the epsilon i. For instance, we might assume that the epsilon i distributions are i, i, d. Gaussian, with zero mean. In this instance, the model would have three parameters, b0, b1, and the variance of the Gaussian distribution. We can formally specify the model in the form S P S P as follows. The sample space S S of our model comprises the set of all possible pairs, age, height. Each possible value of theta display style theta equals b zero b one sigma two determines a distribution on s display style s. Denote that distribution by p theta display style p underscore theta. If theta display style theta is the set of all possible values of theta display style theta then p equals p theta theta element of theta display style mathcal p equals p underscore theta theta in theta the parameterization is identifiable and this is easy to check in this example, the model is determined by one specifying s display style s and two making some assumptions relevant to p display style mathcal p. There are two assumptions that height can be approximated by a linear function of age, that errors in the approximation are distributed as i i d Gaussian. The assumptions are sufficient to specify p. Display style mathcal p as they are required to do. Topic: General remarks. A statistical model is a special class of mathematical model. What distinguishes a statistical model from other mathematical models is that a statistical model is non-deterministic. Thus, in a statistical model specified via mathematical equations, some of the variables do not have specific values, but instead have probability distributions, i.e. some of the variables are stochastic. In the above example with children's heights, epsilon is a stochastic variable, without that stochastic variable, the model would be deterministic. Statistical models are often used even when the data generating process being modeled is deterministic. For instance, coin tossing is, in principle, a deterministic process, yet it is commonly modeled as stochastic via a Bernoulli process. Choosing an appropriate statistical model to represent a given data generating process is sometimes extremely difficult, and may require knowledge of both the process and relevant statistical analyses. Relatedly, the statistician Sir David Cox has said, how the translation from subject matter problem to statistical model is done is often the most critical part of an analysis. There are three purposes for a statistical model, according to Konishi and Kitagawa. 
predictions extraction of information description of stochastic structures those three purposes are essentially the same as the three purposes indicated by friendly and Meyer prediction estimation description the three purposes correspond with the three kinds of logical reasoning deductive reasoning inductive reasoning abductive reasoning topic <laughs> dimension of a model Suppose that we have a statistical model S P display style S mathcal P with P equals P theta theta element of theta display style mathcal P equals P underscore theta theta in theta the model is said to be parametric if theta display style theta has a finite dimension in notation we write that theta r k display style theta subset k mathbound r caret k where k is a positive integer r display style mathbound r denotes the real numbers other sets can be used in principle here k is called the dimension of the model as an example if we assume that data arise from a univariate gaussian distribution then we are assuming that p equals p mu sigma x 1 2 pi sigma exp minus x minus mu 2 2 sigma 2 mu element of r sigma greater than 0 Display style mathcal p equals left p underscore mu sigma x equivalent frac one sqrt two pi sigma exp left frac x mu caret two two sigma caret two right mu in mathbound r sigma greater than zero right. In this example, the dimension k equals two. As another example, suppose that the data consists of points x, y that we assume are distributed according to a straight line with i, i, d. Gaussian residuals with zero mean. This leads to the same statistical model as was used in the example with children's heights. The dimension of the statistical model is 3, the intercept of the line, the slope of the line, and the variance of the distribution of the residuals. Note that in geometry, a straight line has dimension 1. Although formally theta element of theta display style theta in theta is a single parameter that has dimension k, it is sometimes regarded as comprising k separate parameters. For example, with the univariate Gaussian distribution theta display style theta is formally a single parameter with dimension 2, but it is sometimes regarded as comprising two separate parameters the mean and the standard deviation. A statistical model is nonparametric if the parameter set theta is infinite dimensional. A statistical model is semiparametric if it has both finite dimensional and infinite dimensional parameters. Formally, if k is the dimension of Theta display style theta and n is the number of samples. Both semi-parametric and non-parametric models have k infinity display style k right arrow inf t as n infinity display style n right arrow inf t if k n zero Display style k n right arrow zero as n infinity. Display style n right arrow inf t 
then the model is semi-parametric, otherwise, the model is non-parametric. Parametric models are by far the most commonly used statistical models. Regarding semi-parametric and non-parametric models, Sir David Cox has said, "...these typically involve fewer assumptions of structure and distributional form but usually contain strong assumptions about independencies." Topic. Nested models Two statistical models are nested if the first model can be transformed into the second model by imposing constraints on the parameters of the first model. As an example, the set of all Gaussian distributions has, nested within it, the set of zero mean Gaussian distributions. We constrain the mean in the set of all Gaussian distributions to get the zero mean distributions. As a second example, the quadratic model y equals b0 plus b1x plus b2x2 plus epsilon, epsilon tilde n 0, sigma 2 has, nested within it, the linear model y equals b0 plus b1x plus epsilon, epsilon tilde n 0, sigma 2. We constrain the parameter b2 to equal 0. In both those examples, the first model has a higher dimension than the second model for the first example, the zero mean model has dimension 1. Such is often, but not always, the case. As a different example, the set of positive mean Gaussian distributions, which has dimension 2, is nested within the set of all Gaussian distributions. Topic comparing models Comparing statistical models is fundamental for much of statistical inference. Indeed, Konishi and Kitagawa 2008, p. 75, state the following. The majority of the problems in statistical inference can be considered to be problems related to statistical modeling. They are typically formulated as comparisons of several statistical models. Common criteria for comparing models include the following, R2, Bayes factor, and the likelihood ratio test together with its generalization relative likelihood. Topic. See also. Equals equals notes. <laughs>